Hello everybody and welcome to another Transformers third party review. In today's video, thanks to the team over at Heat Toy, we've managed to secure a sample of the Devil Saviour Smash part of their Troublemaker. This is the DS04. This is actually my first entry into the Devil Saviour franchise. I have seen MGO's review on their split. Uh, that's a very indifferent <laughs> opinion to it. I believe there's a lot of uh, engineering going on. It's very complicated. Uh, thankfully, I've been playing around with Smash and he is not the same. Although we do have a GAT symbol on his alt mode. Let's have a quick look around the box. We've got Smash on the side there. And we've got Smash on the back. He's in his bot mode, vehicle mode, and his leg mode, which is the combined form. That's about it. And this is what he looks like out of the packaging. He's a good looking piece. Lots of nice paint detailing, lots of extra parts compared to what we got with the official Studio Series figure. This is of course based on the Revenge of the Fallen Long Haul, which I believe is the right leg of Devastator, but it's a good looking piece. He looks the part, he feels the part, he feels very much comparable to the Studio Series, only slightly kind of improved. He's got a slightly more robust feel to him, considering he's got that extra height and extra width. Uh, I think they've done a pretty decent job. He's definitely not floppy, and is definitely nowhere near as over-engineered as their split figure is. Uh, I will still need to get him at some point. Obviously, I do want to build this giant Devastator, uh, because I've seen them on the renders, and it does look sensational. But as far as a standalone figure goes, this is a pretty decent offering. Really nice sculpted detail on there. Fabulous head sculpt. You've got that kind of generator piece. We've got pistons going on around there. Loads of weathered detailing. Yes, we get GAT on here as opposed to CAT. But that's nothing a little bit of paint or a sticker couldn't fix. I mean, I know it's not exact to the CG rendering. But it's not far off. I just, I don't know, something about the paint and that sculpt is really impressive. Love the dirt on the treads and it's an uneven application as well. It's not symmetrical and making it a lot more realistic, yeah, in my opinion. For those wondering how he does fare alongside the Studio Series version, I mean, there's definitely a lot more height now. You can see the differences in detailing. The kind of design is the same there. And we've got the panels on the arms. They're both close to his CG appearance. Uh, and you can definitely tell both characters are the same person. But I don't know. I, I think they've both done an exceptional job. I mean, I think Takara and Hasbro with this initial release, they did uh, a really fine piece. I mean, it is a really good figure. It's a good solid figure, but I think the articulation is highly hampered. I mean, especially when we compare it to the Devil Savior version, we do have a lot more range and there's a lot more we can do with the figure as well. I mean, I love those pistons up the top there, just tucking in. Of course, there will be a third option to fans as well. Uh, I believe it's Black Mamba. And now doing an oversized version of the Studio Series line. I do have their first figure en route, but it's not here yet, unfortunately. But I'd be interested to see how all of they fare and how their version of this kind of comes across as well. But uh, generally, they will just be kind of oversized with uh, added paint applications. So they won't have the kind of difference in engineering that the Devil Savior versions are offering us. Let's check out the articulation. The head does look up nicely there. We can go down, we can go left, and we can go right. So we've got a lot of range in there. Just need to get your hands in there to move it. Uh, the shoulders can come up. Oh, really tight ratchets on this arm. There's actually a butterfly joint in here. It's part of the transformation, but if you want to bring the arms all the way forward, you could just untab the joint and bring that round. There is an upper bicep rotation. Again, really stiff joints. Uh, this part here is designed to peg in 
it pegs in on this arm like so but pegging it in we do lose the use of the kind of the rotation here so we get a bend on the elbow here we also get a double jointed bend on the wrist there's a bend here and here and then we get a pivot on the hand as well so we've got hand articulation so that's already a step above and beyond the studio series uh, there is a waist rotation albeit it is hampered somewhat by this back tab you have to untab the rear piece to get full access to that joint no abdominal crunch in there i mean it's not the end of the world to untab this piece here if you want a slim line, it has to be tucked in. But if you want full use of that range, then you have to just untab it. We do have hip skirts to the side, which can be lifted on both sides, allowing for the legs to come this far forwards and this far back. We can come out to the side on a lovely ratchet, really nice high kick there. Coming down to the knees. We've got a nice deep bend on that knee and we've got lovely ankle pivots so we had a little bit loose i think and we do get a pivot on the inner leg which is a different approach to it i haven't seen that approach before but it works it allows you to pivot this section here and still get some up and down on those toes without the need to kind of disrupt the aesthetic of those legs and i actually really like it like i said it's different but practical none the less oh, i do love that sculpt now as gorgeous as he looks he does of course transform so let's get him changed up into his truck mode let's try and do it out do it without getting absolutely frustrated and snapping it in half poor old emgo he really didn't have a lot of luck with his split did he but uh, let's get him transformed up and see how he fares right let's start with these hip skirts they're going to lift up to the sides uh, we can take these missiles off, they do detach from both sides. You just move those off, come on off you come, just a small tab tabbing those in. Uh, the feet are going to slide like so, and slide like this. So that's gonna come untabbed. We're gonna come down to the leg hook and that's gonna come unlatched as well. These knee pads are gonna detach. They're gonna come round to the side and then it's going to lift these pieces all the way up and then using this hip joint you're going to bend this 90 degrees and bring that up to the front and these here are going to rotate and this is going to rotate like so and those are going to come in and we're going to push tab and secure those into position putting onto the torso and this crotch piece. This is going to unlatch like so. Uh, this is going to hinge and hinge again like so. It's going to come in. And we've got uh, a couple of things to aim for here. You want to aim to get the leg tabbed in on itself using the double hinges like so. Make sure the toe's out of the way like that, like that. And then this piece here is gonna hinge in. So that is gonna slot inside, which holds this piece together. This is then going to go over and lock that piece in as well. This is going to come away, which allows this piece to rock, fall forward, push, tab in. It can then rotate back round and tab back in as well make sure all of this is tabbed in firmly as well so we're looking like this at the moment around to the top side view these parts here are slid into one another you want to come and bring those around so this is going to come down like so this rotates like this and then that will come up and over. Same with this side. This is going to flip and rotate like this. And then this bar is going to come up 
and then that allows these to come up and over. I like that, I like that approach to it. It's a really clever way of cleaning everything up. And you see we've got this tab at the front of this grill piece, that's gonna allow that to slide in. And the same can be said for this side. Again, line everything up and slide that panel in, make sure everything's tabbed in as it should be. There we go, it's really starting to come together now. This torso piece is on a rocking panel and that's gonna rock down enough to slide and push and locate in on both sides. There we go, goodness me, that is solid. Rotate his head 180 degrees. Now we need to disengage these hydraulic struts. They are just tabbed into this back panel, but my goodness me, they're such a tight fit. <laughs> right, they, these are gonna slide all the way to the end and come along and slide all the way the end like so and we need these wheels to come inwards struts going to come back up and then the wheels are going to come back this time over the top of those struts and from here we can bend this hinge rotate this one down like so and then these two here are going to come in and those are going to push and tab in together and then using this rocking hinge you can see these are going to line up with these tabs on the chest and it's gonna push, locate, and secure. And then whilst these are now secured, we can then slide these hydraulic struts back in. And if you notice, there's a small tab on the end of each strut. Those are gonna push and locate, holding that entire back section into position. Detach this piece from here. This is gonna rotate around on this hinge, this is gonna come up and you want to rotate this hinge as well. So turn that around. The hands are gonna come back and they're gonna fold back on themselves. And then we're gonna to want to bring this arm up and you wanna keep that joint nice and straight. And rotate this piece around like so, so that this hinge is now on the outside Make sure that that's perfectly straight. Make sure that that's down enough and bring that in. So we've got a nice straight line from here through to the rear. And then we can just come around to this back piece. This is where all of the kibble is located. I mean, there is quite a lot going on at the back here. Everything's kind of hidden away inside. Lots and lots and lots going on. Let's open that up. Let's open that up, lift this up, like so. These are going to extend out. And you wanna rock these on those hinges so they just pop over. And again, just make sure the hinges are just the other side and they can push and locate. These can then come down. I think got all of this rear space here. So much going on. But basically this is gonna tip, this is gonna form the back bed of the truck. Again, just push and locate those tabs. Like dump and dump. And like dump and dump. Like so. And then we're gonna slide this piece downwards and these are gonna tab in and tab in one
these side panels, tab in to the side of the bed, like so. Push and secure those in, and then these top panels are also going to collapse and locate nicely into the top of this panel piece. They just slide up and then slide back down, pushing and securing into location, and we just bring that final piece upwards, like so, and just push and tab everything in. There we go. Oh, what a solid lump, robust. And here he is in his truck mode. I like that, I like that a lot. Uh, it's not perfect. He looks a little bit stumpy, I think, uh, but it definitely holds together pretty darn well. I think I've got the back slightly slanted there, but uh, it's a big, solid lump. The engineering isn't overly complex. It's more difficult to try and capture it all on camera uh, than anything else. But I, I think I've done an okay job at getting it all on there. But yes, other than the gat on the side as opposed to cat, I think it's a really good piece. It's a big chunk of a bot and alt mode squares up pretty nicely. And here he is alongside his studio series Compadre. A little bit difference. Still a good figure, but this one's definitely got that detail going for it, hasn't it? Now comes the fun task of uh, converting this into the leg mode. So we've got to just uh, wiggle these missiles off, like so. These are going to open, and these sections here are going to come off as well. Just untab. And untap from the sides and from the top. So the arms are now loose. Disengage that torso panel. I feel like we're undoing all that hard work, aren't we? <laughs> I need to untap these front panels and this front panel again, like so. And then we're going to split these as well, bringing them down and unlatch your securing tab. So we've got this one at the bottom here that unlatches and we've also got this one up here. Like so, there are these small little hidden away sections here. You want to bring those up just to push, push this piece down which allows this piece to pop up. You want to do that on both sides. There's just so much going on with this when you get it into leg mode. You don't want to uh, move these wheels back. Uh, the best way of doing that is not to actually pull on this plastic tab. There's this peg at the bottom here. If you just give that peg a push, that lets this piece here come up. We can then move this up out of the way. The wheel can then fold backwards on itself and collapse, and then this can rotate and secure over the wheel like so. This hinge untabs like so, coming away and bring the knees down. This is then going to come back. Uh, this is all going to unfold. Um, it's all a little bit interesting. Let's come around to the foot panel first. Let's open this piece here and this piece here is going to come up like this. Uh, this toe piece here is on a sliding hinge so you want to bring that up and then the hinge goes whoop, all the way up to the top and then that now allows that to fill into that void. And if you look here, this is going to come back on itself on this double hinge. And it's going to collapse like so. And then we've got a double hinge here. This comes up like this. And that's going to rock. 
and that's going to rock and you see there's this little tab here that's going to go into that groove there so just rock that over and insert that in like so this piece is going to rotate around and rotate around it's going to keep coming around until this piece is level with this hole so just they're rotating between this panel here which rotates and this inner panel here which rotates they should then be tabbed in next to those knees and we should be left with the hook and this hook here so when we tab that in that's gonna he says push and secure there we go and then the hook should be here like so and then this joint here should be below that so the hook and this should be above this piece here that's what we should have for extra stability we're then going to move this section in and this section in and that's just going to come up and over securing that piece inwards the joint is going to collapse back down on itself and this is going to come back in and push and that should click into position he says come on there we go I want to make sure that these are nice and straight and if you look the hip skirts are going to come around and those are going to push and I mean they are going to slide in there and that is such a firm fit and then this panel flips up and we've got that tab in the back of the legs that's going to hook around and rotate come up to these arms uh, these want to come down it's going to bend like so this piece here is going to rotate around uh, this bit here uh, you want to bend around and that's going to tab in on that tab like so and then there's this hinge which is going to hinge around and that's going to bring these to the back like so and again on this side hinge that around and as you hinge it bring that around to the back and these are going to push and lock in like so so looking from the back make sure this is pulled down and we're going to have something that looks like this. That's going to be the top of the leg. And then we've got this piece here. This is forming the heel spur. Like we did for the vehicle mode, these pieces here are going to flip around like so. This is going to flip down. These are going to come in. And there's a tab and a groove. So we push and slot. And these are going to come up. roll on that hinge onto those wheels untab untab and just push against the grain so it comes out to the side and wait it's a little more difficult on this one give it a wiggle now the wheels are then going to split like so these are going to come down and again these are going to come out the other side of them so bring these down bring this up Right, it's where it starts to get a little bit more complexing. Uh, these are going to tab into this section here. We then need to come down to these panels and it's a matter of rotating everything around on these hinges. Uh, this needs to come uh, all the way down like so. And then this hinge on the outside is going to rotate again. And this is going to come up and around like so i believe that's right and then we're going to do this backpack piece these bits are going to fold in to the middle and compress like so it's going to come up like this and this is going to come up like that bring this panel down you see us on this double hinge uh, this panel here is going to rotate around this is then going to come around as well and then these two are going to come up push and lock in together god this thing here is a pain and now that we're past this panel through we can then undo this again this is a snazzy little feature like you want to just line up this sliding tab and just pushing from the back that's going to slide that in and then these are just going to come up just keep sliding keep sliding so it goes all the way down and then this should he says line up nicely and push and locate into these tabs. It's just a very different way of doing it. I would never have thought about having it slide in kind of from the bottom there, but it works. I just need to push and secure these into position now. 
there we go. Those are now in. These panels can then come untabbed and come untabbed. We really didn't need to tab those back in, did I? I just made life more complicated for myself. There we go, bring those back in. And those are gonna push the underside and these are on a double hinge. These are gonna rock like so. And again, rock like this. These are gonna come all the way up. This piece folds, this piece folds. Make sure everything's tabbed in and this is going to come up and there's this tab just here this is going to come in and that's going to push and secure and that's the leg fully made up uh, we've got the missiles just mounted on the back there uh, you know it's not bad it's not bad uh, these bits just kind of slide up out of the way and then that's where it attaches to devastator so again not the worst leg in the world at all but the transformation's not overly fun for the leg the vehicle and bot mode are okay this one's a little bit more finicky lots of kind of maneuvering to get things to work but uh, once it's all together i think that's going to be a really fabulous version of devastator like i said i've still got to get the split yeah and then i'll do a video once we get more of these in we'll do a fully combined video on how to get them into position we'll get them all into their limb modes at the end of each video and then finally we'll do a whole devastator video when that'll be i'm not sure like i said this is only my first take on this brand but this is actually really nice i'm glad i didn't kind of fall apart uh, we'll obviously up their game slightly and now to find myself a split thanks again to the team over at heat toy for making this review possible i'll include a link in the description below and until next time for myself and the rest of the collectibles household thanks for watching goodbye